Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ. Give me an opportunity, she gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure, she has been confident. That is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can do for the point. What a moment, all eyes are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman on this roster, and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ, because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Phantomweight Championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner presenting the reigning defending undisputed USC women's bantamweight champion of the world Catlin Fenomeno Vieira Herb Dean third, third man fight. in the octagon Ready. tonight Good. Well, Ketlin Vieta may not have even reached her fighting prime yet, and that is a scary proposition for the rest of this women's bantamweight division. She's starting to carry herself in the octagon like a champion. You see the ferocity in her eyes. Every movement is calculated. Ketlin Vieta is an animal in there, and she'll be trying to prove it here early on in this one. Vieta gets caught by the straight punch. Another punch to the head. She does a great job of getting that leg to the target. Beautiful leg kick. Oh, nice job by the kickboxer there to stay upright. That takedown attempt would have put her on the floor earlier in her mixed martial arts career. She's working hard. Yeah, she's working very hard at getting better, but you can see the awareness now. Her understanding of how to move defensively whenever she gets hit with a takedown attempt. Beautiful to see her evolution inside the octagon. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Good stick. Fast pace here in the early going. Lands the sidekick now. Oh, nice elbow. Nice 
Nice body shot. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big elbow. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Oh, nice. Nice. She gets space and gets some separation. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Vienna gets tagged by a solid uppercut right there. Up. Right there. She knew this would be a problem if she stayed there. She finds her way out of the clutch position. Beautiful strike. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. She gets to the single power time. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find openings to land uppercuts and shots right up the middle. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learns from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. Vieta's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Oh, she is good with that hook tonight. Under 90 seconds to go round one. Caught that kick there. Nice job by the defensive fighter. Oh, she works the body. This could be it. Oh! So under a minute to go here. So it's been a competitive, action-packed first round. I've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Oh! With authority, the body. Total strikes have landed for the Brazilian Ketlin Vieira. Oh, nicely done by her there. She's got the single collar in the clinch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Vieira's eye is starting to swell shut. the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so she does survive to see the next round, but as we show you some replays, DC, nobody's going to be kissing her on the cheek anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's a nasty cut on the cheek. She got hit with some big shots, and they really have taking an effect on her. Look at the cut on the cheek, and it was that shot right there that opened up the cut. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, she continues to bide her time here on the feet. Now throws a front kick and lands. That front kick was beautiful. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. 
Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's, it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, she is at her peak level. Oh, nice takedown defense. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. That elbow got to the target very quick in the clinch. Man, look at the bruising and the redness starting to appear on the left side of her body there. Not good. Another nice kick by her there, and as a lot of fighters will say, no pad on the foot. No pad on the foot, and no shin guards to protect you. She is blasting her opponent right now. And blocks the shot there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just over three minutes to go in round two. <laughs> oh my goodness! Go, 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 go. Oh. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those brutal punches to try to knock her out this time. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Well, she has not responded well since getting knocked down by her opponent earlier in the round, and she's clearly losing this fight. She's losing this fight. She looks defeated. She looks deflated. How is her corner going to get her back into the fight? What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing it. Just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of oh, oh, now she gets it done with the sidekick, though, so we'll see if her opponent can adjust and, and not be on the wrong end of too many more of those. Well, she's going to have to if she intends on getting into her desired range. If she continues to take those side kicks, she's gonna stay at the space that her opponent wants her at. Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out of it. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. When you see someone hurt that many times in one round, you gotta go for blood. I know it's against her, it's not her M.O. to be over aggressive, but right now it seems like it's just a matter of time before this fight gets stopped. Vieta's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. She's got a good jab. Both fighters throwing heat now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, oh, finished. All right, so with some Stop. urgency, the cut man making his way into the octagon as she heads back to the stool. That is a nasty cut that she is dealing with. Respira, respira, breathe. Good. Você tá bem? Sim, isso é normal, tá? All right, back to the stools we go. She has absorbed a lot of damaging strikes in this fight. We'll see if she can recover. She didn't do a good job of moving her head. She was a stationary target, and she paid for it. Her opponent recognized that the target was stationary, and she went all out trying to land big shots and she opened up a nasty cut. 
You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Lead kick is true there by Vieta. Nice straight right hand. Vieta's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by him. He's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Well, she seems to be moving okay, but her calf is starting to show some real damage. But you can tell, every time she gets hit in that spot, you see a big reaction. She's got to do something different. Leg kick got home by her there. She got that single collar time. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. ground and pound. She's a beast. She's targeting that cut and she is seeing it pay dividends because the cut is getting worse. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Vieta. In the half guard. She's stepping over the ball here. Oh. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Vieta. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. Oh. Oh. oh, she is wobbled now. What a massive strike from the top. She's about to get her opponent out of there. The eight is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. as clean a knockout as you will ever see and certainly the signature win of her career today. You don't get many like this. She said that she was going to knock her opponent out and that is exactly what she did. What a performance. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Macy the Future. All right, so she is the new UFC Bantamweight champion joining an illustrious...